Hello, dear friends. Ewell Humphreys here. I wanted to share with you a short message that I've entitled The Importance of Fellowship. The Importance of Fellowship. Christianity has spread through the power of the Spirit of God and the living power and presence of Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. But it has spread in many ways through uh, people like, like you and me. Christians that love the Lord, whose lives have been changed and we belong to God. And, praise God, it's been spread by the work of the church of the Lord Jesus. The church, very important. I hope you are supporting a church. Right now, during the virus, I'm not able to attend our church. And I haven't since the virus struck. But, uh, praise God, I, I live in a retirement center and we're quarantined where we can't get out. But uh, the day will come when we can, and, and I miss the church because it's a church where we meet together, worship together, love together, and, and, uh, and serve God together. It's very important. The church is a very important place to be. And we, we go to church in order to please God and help others. That's the main one, one of the main thing. We please God, help others, and we uh, fill our own hearts with His Spirit and with the acts of worshiping in fellowship with others. And so it's important. Now, if you're like me and you cannot get to a church right now, you can find ways to worship God in fellowship by calling them on the phone, talking to them, praying with them, and different areas like that where you can serve the Lord. And so, praise God, fellowship is important. Getting together and praying one for another and speaking one to another about the Word of God and what it means to you. The Bible says over in 1 John, in the first chapter, it says this, that, that we have seen and heard the, uh, the Lord, and we, and uh, we long to have uh, fellowship with you so that we could have all, all of us have fellowship with uh, God the Father and God the Son, Jesus Christ. So our fellowship is with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit and fellowship with others, with others, with other Christians. That's important because we need that. And it's always good for us to have it and to participate in it. In fact, the Bible says in Hebrews uh, that uh, uh, about the uh, eighth chapter, it says, uh, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together, but, but come together and worship God. Love God together, worship God together, and do these things. Over in uh, uh, Ephesians, in the uh, in the uh, uh, first, second chapter of Ephesians, third chapter of Ephesians, it says, "Let the let the word of Christ dwell in you, uh, and uh, and admonish and teach others in the uh, importance of singing, sing hymns and pray and uh, spiritual songs." making melody in your heart to the Lord. And so that's very important. And that, I'm sorry, that, that scripture is in Colossians and the third chapter of Colossians. And it's important that we learn to sing. Praise God. Amen. And so we, we love to God. We look to God and find our strength. And first of all, we need to see it as the importance of after becoming saved, we need to find a good church where we can come, become members of that church and support it and to pray for it and to attend it and, in, and support it with our money and with our prayers and with our presence. And so it's important over in the book of John, the 15th chapter, Jesus said, I'm the vine, you're the branch. As the branch, as the vine cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. And so when we worship, we must worship in the power of the Holy Spirit and for the glory of God, and we worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the vine. We're the branches. And so we worship Jesus Christ as our Lord and as our God and as our Savior. And that's very important. We do this because we love God and love each other. We love God and we love each other and we serve because God's called us to service. And what a glorious thing it is. Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful thing to have Christians, to 
to pray and work with them. And I thank God for you that are on the YouTube. I haven't met you yet, but praise the Lord, I met you on the YouTube, and I feel like I've met you, but I'm going to meet you one day in glory. Hallelujah. And we'll be together forever. And I look forward to it, and I believe you do, and we're going to meet it because God has brought us together. And it's a good thing to worship God as he come, when we come together. Amen and amen. We're to sing songs. Sing this good old hymn with me, and it's called Marching to Zion. Come we that love the Lord, and let our joys be known. Sing with me a song with sweet accord. A song right now with sweet accord. And thus surround the throne, and thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Come let our joys abound and every tear be dried. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground and to fairer worlds on high, to fairer worlds on high. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion, marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Amen. God bless you, and I thank God for you. Now, I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you're not sure that you're saved and going to heaven. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I do believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again, and I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Find your church. Go and attend that church and, and become a member of it through baptism. And let the Lord lead you. And you, dear Christian, remember this, that we're to have fellowship together. We're to love God and love each other. And we'll go on because God's going with us. We're not afraid anymore because he's our hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord bless you now, in Jesus' name, amen and amen.